Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today I've got the biggest, the best, the... Don't know. Shein haul. So this video is very kindly in collaboration with Shein. This isn't sponsored, I've just been gifted these items to show you guys. I think I picked up about 20 to 25 items, so when I say this is going to be the biggest Shein haul I've ever done, it genuinely is the biggest Shein haul I've ever done. I think I've done quite a few Shein hauls on my channel now. Um, I literally love Shein so much. I find that a lot of people think it's quite hit and miss, which I do agree with. Um, sometimes I pick up things and they aren't what they look like online, but then other times I'm so impressed. Like honestly, I love Shein so much, especially for the price. Um, you just can't beat like a big Shein haul, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah. I've got a massive box in front of me, like the biggest box ever, and I've had this box for so long, but I haven't really been able to wear anything, because I just wanted to get this haul done first. So I'm finally doing the haul so that I can wear everything and enjoy it all. Um, so the first thing I actually picked up was these bed sheets. I'll do like a little video of them so you guys can see them properly, but if you don't know, she and actually do a home section. Um, it's full of just like random home things that you don't really realise you need, or no exist until you see them like they literally have the most random but like exciting things on there um not that bed sheets are random or exciting but they're just bed sheets um but i thought i'd pick up some bed sheets because i really needed some and i don't know i just haven't tried any of the Shein home stuff before i don't think um i know my sister has and her, she's got some bed sheets and they're really really nice so i thought i'm just gonna give them a go and when i say they're the softest bed sheets i've ever had in my life honestly i think they were relatively like a reasonable price i think they're just pretty much the same as like b m sort of prices for bed sheets if not maybe a little bit more expensive um i want to say it was about 30 pound for the set and i've got a double bed however i get a king size duvet um they're honestly the softest bed sheets i've ever had in my entire life they were so just i just love them and i've got a new bed as you can see um so yeah it was so nice to have a new bed and some new bed sheets um, they're just like plain white with a little frill around the edge, they came with two pillowcases, oh my god, and do you know what's the best thing? The best thing. Once in my life, only once in my life, have I ever had a duvet with a zip. I don't know why companies don't all make duvets with a zip, like I just don't understand why it's not like a big thing, like who wants to button up their duvets when you can just zip it? But anyway, yeah, I had one from Ikea and I absolutely loved the fact you could just zip it and done. This one has a zip. I don't know why, I just knew it was going to be, like when I ordered it I was like, I just know for a fact Shein is going to come through and have a zip duvet and I was right, they did and I love it. So yeah, I'll definitely be buying my duvet covers and stuff like that from Shein in the future because honestly I'm so impressed and for the price you pay, yeah you're literally paying same similar price to other homeware stores, um, I mean it's a lot cheaper than like homeware homeware stores if you know what I mean, but yeah. They're absolutely fine and I'm really happy with them and I love the frill detailing on them. There was honestly so many duvet covers on there, I couldn't choose but I just can't be, like in my room I just love to have a plain white duvet every now and then. Um, as you can see it just looks super cute. Um, but yeah, I'll have probably done like a little video of the bed so you guys can actually see them properly because I can talk about them here and now but you can't actually see what I'm talking about, do you know what I mean? Although I hadn't actually filmed this all yet, I just couldn't wait to get the sheets on the bed because I just had a new bed and I was like, new bed, new sheets, I just need it. But honestly, moving on to the clothes, I'm so excited that I can finally start like wearing these things because I just find like, I don't really want to ever wear them until I've done the haul because I might miss things off or like, I don't know, I just get a bit funny about wearing things before I've done a haul. The only thing I have been wearing, well actually I've been wearing two things. So I actually picked up a pair of slides. This is going to be like an autumn winter haul by the way guys. You know me, we're moving into autumn winter. I love autumn winter fashion. However, you can't beat a pair of sliders, let's be honest. So I have been wearing these loads. I've still got the stickers inside but you can see I literally wear these all the time. Can't beat a pair of sliders. I picked these up in a size small and I guess this is like a 3-4 because they fit pretty perfectly. Um, they've got like this quilted pattern on them. They are just lush i honestly i love them so much the quality is so good for the price that they are like they're honestly so cheap and honestly like the quality they're better than primark sliders they they're actually more comfortable than like the sliders i've had from like nike and places like that like i've had so many sliders in my life but these are genuinely the most comfortable ones i've ever owned even though in autumn winter your toes get cold and stuff you just can't be a pair of sliders to just jump into the car like i go to tom's in the evening and then i come home in the morning and you just need to whack on a pair of sliders i don't want to be putting trainers on when i'm running to pick up a takeaway when i'm getting a mcdonald's drive through who wants to sit and tie up their trainers when all you want is your food whack on a pair of sliders and these are perfect absolutely perfect for that so i actually picked up these two bags which i'm really impressed with so this is the first one it's really tiny but it's so cute um and it comes with this long strap i see a lot of people carrying these ones like this it's sort of like the balenciaga style bag um but i added this long strap which obviously came with it and i like to just wear it like sort of 
crossbody. Um, I was never really a fan of crossbody bags, however, this autumn winter I feel like, I don't know, my style's a little bit different and I just have been wearing it like that with a big fur coat and I just absolutely love it. It's a little bit red inside, like a little burgundy red sort of colour. Um, absolutely love this, honestly the quality is insane again for the price you pay. Um, and although it's really small, there's actually quite a lot of space inside, like, you can fit a fair amount in there. All I ever need is my phone, my purse, my keys, but if you need anything else, it'll fit in there. The only mistake I made, right, I don't like bags that have, like, writing on them, like, like, imprinted in. And I've checked on the website and it did have this on the picture, I obviously just didn't see. But it does actually have writing here that says fashion and bags leather. Like, it doesn't really matter, um, I can obviously just wear it, like, that way and that's not their mistake that's my mistake in the picture it literally says that i just obviously didn't notice um but yeah i'm not normally one to have things written on my bags but it's fine it's still cute absolutely love it color is so nice can literally go with everything like matches absolutely everything i feel like it can really like dress up an outfit literally just a little nude bag but even with like a tracksuit you put this on it it's just it's just so cute and perfect size and yeah, I've been wearing it so much, I absolutely love it. Next I picked up this one, and this one I've really made a big mistake. I checked the image again, and it did say it, but it actually says Saint Laurent Paris. So it's basically like a fake Saint Laurent bag, which first of all, I didn't know Shein even sold like fake designer bags. Um, and I'm not really a designer kind of girl, I don't even know if this bag is sold on Saint Laurent. Like, do Saint Laurent actually do a bag like this? And am, I, am I even saying it right? I don't know. But despite that, this bag is insane. The quality of this bag, like, I can't actually go over it. And obviously I can just hold it that way and then you won't see it. And from afar, you don't even know what it says. And it's a shame because that gold detailing actually looks really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm not one for, like, fake bags and stuff. I mean, you do you, hon. Like, you do you. But I'm just not really that kind of gal. But it does come with two straps. So you get this one which I find is very different for the bag, like you've got like a sort of leathery boxy bag and then like a big sort of strap, I'm not sure, but then you do also get just like the classic leather. The quality of this bag is insane, I love the crop print, I love, like, I love everything about it, the gold detailing on it is just so cute. Again, perfect size, it's not too big, it's not too small, um, I don't think I could probably get away with carrying it like that just because it's quite square, so it would probably have to be either crossbody or just sort of like in my hand. Um, can't beat a black bag in autumn winter. To be fair, you can't beat a black bag all year round. Yeah, absolutely love this. Is that croc print or is that something else? I'm not really sure. It's just so cute. I just really, really, really liked it and I'm very happy with the quality and the size and everything about it. Right, moving on to clothes. The first thing I picked up was this cardigan and let me just have a moment for this cardigan. So I picked this up in a size medium so that it was a little bit oversized and it sure is. Um, it's just this pink knitted cardigan with these really cute like dotted sleeves. I don't really know how to explain them to be honest. Maybe it's just putting the bin out, hang on. Yeah, I don't really know how to explain the sleeves, but oh my god, this is the cutest cardigan ever. Sizing is ideal, like the way it fits me is just perfect. Colour, love a pink cardigan. In autumn winter I'm more of like a nude, beige, black, grey, white kind of girl. Like I just like plain neutral colours however I just love this and I really need to start wearing like more colours because I'm just so boring but this is so nice and the quality again oh my gosh it's insane like it's so thick I absolutely love this like oh, I just love it so much can't beat a cardigan in the winter times oh I can't wait to just be cuddling in this and oh my god I love it next I picked up another knitted jumper I say another knitted jumper that was a cardigan but I picked up a knitted jumper this is it. It's like a chocolate brown colour. Like I just said, I love browns, nudes, beiges, everything like that in autumn winter. And this is my perfect jumper colour, like a thick chocolate brown. Um, I got this in a size medium again. I do tend to size up in like jumpers and like coats and stuff just because I like them to be a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah, for reference I'm size 4 slash 6 and I get like mediums and stuff in jumpers and things like that just so that they're a little bit bigger. Um, the sleeves are so cute. They like go really tight and like just cute. Neck matches the sleeves. I love a high neck, guys. High necks in autumn, winter are just insane. Um, yeah, the quality of this isn't as good as the cardigan. However, it's a perfect jumper and I am still working from home. But I know that if I was going into the office to work, I would be wearing this to work all the time. This is such a perfect, just cosy work jumper. Do you know what I mean? Paired with some leather leggings, some chunky boots. Oh, I love it. Moving on to, I think this is the last jumper that I picked up. I'm actually, I'm not mad about this, but... 
it's not the best quality so I actually picked this up oh this is one size this jumper um I don't actually think this is from Shein because in it it's actually got a label with a different company name on it so I'm not sure if this is like a different supplier for Shein I'm not really sure but it doesn't feel like Shein clothes if you know what I mean sorry I keep touching my hair because it's so knotty um I don't really know like the label in it doesn't say Shein either it says something else so I don't think this is actually from Shein like supply like I don't know what I'm trying to say it's just a little bit thin it's really soft like it looks like it'd be really itchy and it's not it's really really soft um, and the way it sits and the way it hangs, I really, really like. The only thing is, it's just very thin. Um, I don't know if you can tell, it just looks a bit cheap. Like, if you compare these two together, like, it just looks a bit cheap. Do you know what I mean? Um, love the sleeves, though. And, oh, my God, this. This is my favourite, like, a big balloon sleeve jumper. It's just my favourite thing. Again, it's got the high neck. Shock. I love high necks. Um, and I thought this would be really nice because it's not too high with a white roll neck under it because... I think it's going to be too thin to just have nothing under, like, I don't know if you can see, but it's just quite thin. So if I put a cream roll neck under this, oh my god, it'd be so cute. But yeah, I'm not sure. It's really, really nice, and I do like it, and the way it hangs and stuff, it just looks quite cheap, do you know what I mean? If you watched my, I think it was my last Shein haul, it was more of like a summery Shein haul, um, I picked up a pair of jeans, and when I say, I've had so many questions on the jeans, so many compliments on the jeans, I've worn them, honestly, to be fair, I haven't worn them for a little while, because... In autumn winter I don't tend to wear blue jeans. Um, honestly, when I got them, I wore them every single day for weeks. You guys probably will remember them. So I had to pick up another pair in a like darker colour. They're still very light. Um, but I don't know if you remember, they were like washed white jeans. Whereas these are like a, I don't know, just like a light blue denim sort of colour. Um, I picked these up in a extra small, I'm sure. Yeah, an extra small. Um, and oh my god, they are insane. They are absolutely insane. I love them. I think I love them even more than the lighter ones. Like, I loved the lighter ones when I got them, like the whitewashed ones. However, these ones, I just, I love them. They're like straight leg. They're kind of wide leg, but not really. They're more straight leg. They like fit around your legs, but they're not skinny jeans, if you know what I mean. Um, but at the same time, they're not too baggy. Honestly, these just go with everything. I love them so much. Shein's jeans are something else, honestly. Like, a couple of years ago, I only ever bought jeans from Topshop. I think even maybe this time last year, like, I was set on Topshop jeans every single day. I would not even think about buying a pair of jeans from anywhere else. Um, and then when I started getting into influencing and changing up my style a bit, I obviously started buying jeans from, like, PLT and stuff like that because they just had more range of different styles of jeans. I think Topshop are very, like, structured in their kind of jeans that they're always the same. Um, but she in jeans... They're a game changer, honestly. I remember my sister bought some a couple of years ago and she was like, honestly, they're so nice and blah, blah, blah. And to be fair, they did look really nice, but I just, again, was so stuck in my ways of buying Topshop jeans that I never picked any up. But Jesus Christ, if you have not tried Shein jeans, you need to because they are insane. Right, are we even surprised that we've got some PU faux leather here? Um, and are we surprised that it's the same as all of the jackets that I already own? I picked up another like big leather sort of jacket. Um, I've got so many of these. I picked this one up in a size small. I think this is my fourth one. I don't know why I just get addicted to buying these. Like, every time I see them, I'm like, I need that. This one, however, is a little bit shinier than the rest that I've got. I absolutely love it. Literally, I love it. The buttons are so nice. They're like silvery, like metal buttons. Fits absolutely perfectly. Does have that PU leather smell. I think I mentioned this in my last video that PU just stinks. Um, so I always hate wearing it because I don't want people to think that I smell of fish. Um, however, I think you could probably put it in the wash to be fair, I'm not really sure. But oh my god, I just love this. It's so soft, like honestly, so soft. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It's really comfortable too because it's not too like restricting and tight. Um, a lot of the ones I've tried are quite like tight, whereas this one's really soft and nice. Just, right. Guys, I don't know what went through my mind when I was choosing these. These shoes are just not me at all. I honestly don't even remember picking them. I don't know if I just, like, sent the wrong link or something when I requested the items. I, I don't know. These aren't me. Um, the shoes are themselves are actually really good quality and really nice. And, like, if they're your kind of shoe, they're ideal. But for me, this is just not me. Like, I don't know what was going through my mind. I've never worn a heel like this. I don't wear small heels like this. I mean, my smallest heels probably like that. I just, I don't know why I chose these. I also don't go anywhere where I need to wear heels. However, if you do like this style of shoe, these are really nice and really good quality. And I've tried them on and they are so comfortable. They've got like this like padding here and they are 
so comfortable and I've got very wide fat feet so for me these are perfect because they're so wide and these like I don't even know what these are the straps are so stretchy and honestly they are really comfortable and it doesn't even feel like you've got heels on so I can see why people do wear these they're just not my style at all um I've never worn a shoe like this and I probably won't ever wear a shoe like this however the shoe itself I can't complain like it's really good quality and I'm pretty impressed with that I just wouldn't wear them so next I picked up this shirt and I wish I got it in a bigger size guys I'm so disappointed in myself um I picked this up in a small and I wish I just got it in a large or something because it's sort of like a fleecy shirt and I really wanted this just to be so big and oversized and I don't know why I got it in a small um it's still so nice and I really do like it and I will get so much wear out of this I know it but I just don't think I'm going to be able to wear it open as a jacket. I think it's going to have to be worn as a shirt. Which is absolutely fine. I don't mind. Um, this is so soft. Honestly so soft. These colours aren't usually me. Like it's green. And I don't really wear green. But when I saw this I was just really drawn to it. And I'm really impressed. Honestly it's so soft. And I know that if I'd got it in a bigger size. I would literally probably be wearing this every single day. A pair of faux leather leggings. Or leather jeans. Or... Oh my god you know what would look so nice open white crop top these jeans that is going to be an outfit i'm uh, yes i love it i love it i love it so soft i'm just annoyed that i picked it up in this bit of a small size okay next i picked up this which is supposed to be a coat but you know what i said about Shein being hit and miss like everything in this haul i absolutely love and like even this i do love but the quality just isn't it um considering it's a coat as well it just sort of looks like a dressing gown style like it's just very thin and flimsy like it's not going to keep me very warm however if you've got like a day when it's quite sunny and it's actually not that cold in autumn um you know it's like 20 degrees and you need a coat because it's like windy and chilly but you're actually really hot this would look so nice with a black like roll neck underneath it um and leather leggings or jeans and then it's got a belt so you can like tie it up um obviously in the pictures you'll see like how I've styled it but I don't know I really liked it online and the way it fit the model was great and like I love the style of the coat it's sort of like an aviator style like biker look however it's just very flimsy and very thin for a coat do you know what I mean however saying that the colour is just gorgeous I absolutely love the colour of this and it's so soft I feel like I'm just gonna wear this around the house to be honest because I need it in my wardrobe it's so soft and nice um I just it just looks cheap again it looks cheap and I'm quite a snob when it comes to coats I like my coats to look expensive and like nice because I feel like a coat really makes an outfit stand out um so yeah for me personally I'm not sure about it but I will probably wear it around the house all the time next I picked up a little black crop top um it's just got the buttons down the front long sleeves wide ribs and really cute like frilly sleeves basic tops from Shein are just perfect like you can't beat them um I'm over Primark now, I literally don't even go to Primark anymore because there's other places that sell them cheaper, for, like just better. Um, I don't know if you remember in my last Shein haul if you watched it, I picked up like a white short sleeve version of this and I wore it so much in summer so I thought autumn winter we'll switch up a little bit, get a long sleeve black one and I love this, absolutely love this. This with a pair of straight leg mum jeans, um, some like joggers, you know, so cute, can't beat a basic top that can be styled in so many different ways which leads me on to my next one this black high neck like sleeveless ribbed top it's kind of the same material as that um i get so many of these from zara like honestly all the time i just love a high neck top i've said that a million times in this video already um but yeah i don't have any black ones well i do that's a lie i've got loads of black ones but they're more like racist style like none of them are high neck um so yeah when i saw this i thought i had to pick this up black and it's perfect not see-through love it I'm gonna get so many wears out of this Oh, I forgot I got this. So next I picked up a cream leather jacket. It's a bit crease where I've just had it scrunched up in the box. Um, this was sort of, I think it's called a blazer. Um, and I got this in a size small. And it's just like a cream PU leather. Oversized, like, blazer style jacket. Um, I don't have any cream PU leather. I picked up a couple of things from Pretty Little Thing, but they just were too big for me. So I sent them back. But I love this. I'm not sure how I'm going to style this yet. Um, probably with a roll neck shock. Um, or a little crop top or something like that. I'm not really sure. Just maybe with these jeans would look cute. I feel like for drinks or shopping. Or you know you just need a little jacket to put on. But you don't want anything too big, heavy, restricting. This will be ideal. Um, and yeah, cream leather. I feel like this, again, this time last year I would never have picked up anything cream leather. But I just really like it. 
this pile is getting massive and massive and massive. I also just noticed I've been filming for 22 minutes already and we're only like halfway through the box so you guys are probably going to be bored, probably not even watching anymore but if you are, thank you. Next I picked up two beanies, right I really want to get into beanies over winter because I just want to be practical this winter and actually be warm because I always see people wearing hats and I'm like well they must be so toasty but I just don't think I can pull it off. Like how are you even supposed to wear it? I just look like Marv from Home Alone, do you not think? Like I just don't know how you wear them, is that right? Like, I just keep your hair so much warmer. Like, there's so much warmth in my brain right now that oh, I love it. So I picked up a black one. They actually came in a pack of two. And then I picked up a stone one, which I'm excited about, actually. Like, do they look cute or do I just look stupid? Be honest with me. I think I look stupid, but either way, they're keeping my head nice and toasty and warm. So, to be fair, I reckon anyone that wears a hat probably feels like they look stupid. But whenever I see someone wearing one, I'm like, hun, you look absolutely fantastic get me one of those so hopefully if you guys saw me walking down the street with my hat you wouldn't think I look stupid but I'm just not sure quality is so nice they're really comfortable but, oh the worst thing is when you try a hat on and it's so itchy and horrible that's not itchy at all it's really soft and I'm happy with those I think it was like three pound for two which pff, can I just say is a bargain I made a big mistake here looking at them like that they look great and online they looked great they, I thought they were going to be cotton like floaty comfortable cotton like bed shorts listen they look like boys trunks so i'm not going to be wearing these um i love the shape of them like they're so like cinched in at the waist and this is what they looked like online and i'm obviously just stupid i didn't read what material they were but i ain't going to be wearing these guys i'm not going to lie they're very noisy i'm sure if i saw like an influencer wearing these i'd be like oh my god honey, she looks sick but i made a mistake there I actually picked up another pair of heels, so I picked up these, which I'm not sure about. Um, this is more my like, let's like height of heel, and I love this like knotted detailing. Oh crap, my camera's flashing. Stuff. However, they're very square. Um, I think when your foot's in it, you wouldn't really notice, to be honest. And I think it'll look fine. Um, love the colour of these. Love the quality, honestly. Again, they're so wide, so if you've got fat feet like me, plenty of room for your big toes in there. Um, so comfortable. They've got the um, pad in here. Love them. I just don't know if they're a bit too square. I actually picked up some leather cycling shorts. If you watch my ASOS haul, I picked up some in there as well. Got these in a size extra small. They're very crease where I've had them screwed up in the bag. But I love PU leather, everything in autumn, winter, as you can probably tell. So how about some leather cycling shorts? Big knitted jumper over the top, long trench coat, long teddy coat. Oh my god, can't wait to wear these. Absolutely love them. Quality is absolutely perfect. Like, you can't beat them. Like, they're absolutely fine. They feel like the ASOS ones. If you put the ASOS and Shein in my hands and compared them... Probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. And these are literally probably over half the price, I think. Um, but yeah, they're just like a plain cycling short. But they just look so much more like effective because they're leather. I then got this ribbed dress, which is just plain black. And then it's got the ruching down the side. You guys know throughout summer I was wearing so many of the like short racer like style. ones of these, I actually picked one up in my last year in haul. So I decided to get a black long sleeve one for autumn winter because... Will I probably wear it? No. Maybe to work if I ever end up back in the office. Um... With high knee boots, I'm not a high knee boots kind of girl, but I can imagine this would look really nice with high knee boots and a big blazer. Um, is that silly? Would that be nice? I'm not sure. But it's quite cute. And then I also picked up this oversized white shirt dress. Again, the quality of this isn't the best. It's quite flimsy. However, it comes in tight at the waist and around the back. And I absolutely love that. Like, it cinches you in. Um, I picked this up in a size small. It's very sweet. The sleeves are really cute. They, like button up and go really tight around the wrists love it it's just very see-through to be fair this would look quite cute with the cycling shorts underneath it because it will like stop it being see-through do you know what i mean i think that is actually everything that i picked up guys i hope you did enjoy this um sorry that it was so long i hope you guys are still here and interested in everything that i picked up um, I know that I've been doing so many hauls recently, but like I said in my previous video, I just love autumn winter style and fashion and you guys love my hauls, well you seem to anyway. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be a fun one to do because there's so much variety and you guys loved my Shein haul for summer, so I thought, why not do an autumn winter one? So thank you so much to Shein for actually gifting me these items, it's so kind of you, like I honestly can't believe that I still get to work with all of these companies and brands and stuff because it's just a dream come true and I love Shein so much and you guys definitely know that so yeah definitely check them out I will link everything down below for you guys as long as it's in stock um and don't mind me I'm just gonna go and sort all of this out and try to find somewhere to put it because I ain't got no more room in my house for any more clothes but I'm grateful and I love them and I'm very happy with everything that I picked up so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you very very soon for another video ciao